Okay, this problem asks for a few different things. The first thing it asks for is the car's acceleration. We can figure that out fairly simply using the acceleration formula. So acceleration is equal to the change in speed divided by the time interval. So the final speed minus the initial speed divided by the amount of time between those two points. And we're given all three of those variables in the problem. The car is accelerating to 21 meters per second, 21 meters per second, minus the initial speed of 14 meters per second, divided by six seconds. If we put this into a calculator, we get an acceleration of 1.167 meters per second squared, which the answer key rounds to just one meter per second squared. Okay. That was pretty straightforward. And the next part of the problem just asks for how far the car traveled during this time. So this is a type of problem where we have constant acceleration, or it's assuming that the acceleration's constant, and we're given some variables and we have to find some others. And this is going to be a problem where we want to pull out our kinematics equations. So these handy formulas right here. So the idea here is that we want to, from this list, choose which equation will contain all the variables we have and the variable we want to find. So it'll, it's usually helpful to make a note of our givens and unknowns. So we're given the initial speed, the final speed, the time interval, and we know the acceleration as we just found in the previous part of the problem. And the unknown variable that we're trying to find is delta x. Now, because we're given four of the five variables that these equations account for, we can use any equation as long as it has the variable we, we need. So this first equation is going to be completely useless to us because it doesn't have delta x in it. But we can use either of the other two equations. Either of them will work fine, since they both have delta x and we know everything else. I'm just going to go with the second equation simply because it's kind of the most straightforward one to use. So... Delta x, which is what we want to find, is equal to the initial speed of 14 times the time of 6 seconds plus one half of the acceleration, which we found to be 1.167 meters per second, times the square of the time. So 6 seconds squared. And if we put this into a calculator, then we find a distance of 105 meters, which the book's answer key rounds to 110 meters. And so that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out making more videos just like this one. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.